Kate Middleton's family has spoken to a British media, and the truth is that it throws a theory about her disappearance, let's say one of the most radical and dangerous theories. In this sense, we have to say that just this afternoon, both William and Harry, his brother, will coincide in an act. They will coincide in quotation marks, of course, in an act commemorating Princess Diana Spencer of Lady Di. It seems that William will attend this commemorative act, and later when he leaves, a video of Harry will be broadcasted. This is how things are between the brothers at the worst moment, at a time when the press and, well, even what is not press, for example, in the United States, the late-night programs in the late night are making a lot of fun about this whole issue. The truth is that they do not leave them well. They make them look a little ridiculous, but now, ah well, and then the whole world, all the international press, all countries are finding out who really is Rose Hambury. But among all this, this morning, an article came out in a British media where they quote sources from the family environment and well, it is suggested that all this disappearance of Kate Middleton would have to do with an episode or several episodes of alleged domestic violence of abuse by William against Kate. What is true in all this? Well, I'm going to limit myself a bit to reading you the theory. The article, this is supposed to say the source of Kate's family environment, and it is something we have already talked about in the channel, but here are more details, let's see what you think. The article tells us that William accidentally injured Kate in a domestic violence situation on December 28, 2023, that Kate was injured and taken to a hospital where she fell into a coma. They don't say she was induced into a coma. They don't say she simply fell. They cover this up with a press statement about abdominal surgery, which they also put in quotes in the article. They say that she woke up two weeks ago, on February 27, yes, practically two weeks ago, and that William cancelled his very public engagement. No, sorry, that William cancelled his public engagements to be by her side, and that he is now doing damage control. Well, as I say, this is the testimony that is supposed to come from a source in Kate Middleton's family circle. The article to offer evidence truffles it with different facts. One of them is that it says that William is abusive, is an abusive person, and that Kate is probably a victim of domestic violence. That this we can find an example of his behavior in an excerpt from Harry's book. It says that he verbally abuses his brother, becomes violent and then asks Harry to hurt him. It says once he's realized how far he's gone. He says he even asks Harry to keep this incident to himself and insists to him that he never attacked Harry when it's true I remember that episode and was shocked because I said I don't know. Harry then says he admits to his therapist that while he had a history of physical struggle with his brother, it all kind of felt strange different. He says the behavior, this says this in the article, already. William's behavior aligns with the cycle of, I would translate this as passive-aggressive people, but well here they say the abusive cycle of stress, violence, apology. They say there had been previous rumors and articles about William and Kate having. Disputes, let's call them that, Arguments where they were fighting about things and that William, well, he has a temper, whereas Kate is the calm one. They say that given this background and the reports of them fighting from the siblings and the couple, it says we can speculate that September 2023 shows Kate with a finger injury that was probably caused by William and not that cheap excuse that it was from jumping on a trampoline. Here is the text with punctuation marks corrected. This finger injury, oddly enough, well, it ends up taking months to heal, and it's supposed to have happened at her home in Windsor. There seems to be some sort of pattern to the injuries, of course, domestic violence being hidden or dismissed as small accidents, and the article says there have also been reports of fights in the marriage because Kate is troubled by her drinking, this we already told because of the addiction issue, Alcohol consumption could be a potential area of conflict between them, and that there have been previous cases where it has gotten out of control. He says on December 28, an ambulance with police escort was seen. This we already told about as well. 
leaving Sandringham, which presumably left with Kate injured. They say she suffered serious injuries after a more than likely altercation with William and take a statistic that says incidents of domestic violence are higher during the vacations. The evidence is taken a little thinly by the statistic. They say that Palacio is taking a wait and see approach in the face of all this, providing enough information so that a more coherent sort of narrative can be constructed. But this is all in the medium slash long term but that the timing of their publications as it makes it obvious that they are in a wait-and-see mode, a watch-and-see mode. There is a timeline that, well, I'm not going to read it because it's quite long, but it gives a good account of this, of this storyline that Kensington Palace has taken in this case, and only from here we take a little bit of Charles and Camilla, William and Kate. It starts on December 22, where from the palace they announce that they are going to tour Italy in early 2024. They say they wouldn't have done this if they hadn't known that Kate might have needed some kind of procedure or surgery. December 28 is already when Kate disappears and to this day. Well, says other PR people, for your information. They deal with all kinds of releases, kind of like Harry visiting Charles Piper Middleton on vacation, Kate's brother also in the snow with his family waiting for that new baby. And with this mix, they say that the British press on the palace side, we don't know if Kensington or Buckingham or both, include articles with false leads about Kate and her family as they go from Sandringham visits to Norfolk. An article that came out at the time when they suddenly moved from Adelaide Cottage, where Kate was resting in White Week to somewhere else, and it was quite surprising, because it was like it saying no, no, everything is fine, everything is going piano, piano, recovering, and that's why she's going to take a vacation here, it didn't make any sense. They also include something that doesn't seem that important to me, but it's true that all the articles highlight it, and that is William's absence from the memorial service on the morning anniversary of Constantine of Greece, his godfather. He says it could be so important that he will not attend this important engagement. One knows that if he cancels at the last minute, it will lead to even more speculation. We remember that this funeral coincided with making public the death of Thomas Kingston, of which now many media are putting Prince William as the main suspect for a theory, that the truth is that I do not see much sense in all that seems to me, that it is a bit infantilizing everything we are talking about and reduce it to the minimum expression that was that William, not sorry that was that Kate had been with Thomas... Kingston, and that he committed suicide, or was killed on William's orders, or that William was practically already there. All of this is kind of what is being picked up in the last few days. It doesn't make any sense. Here, there are a lot of people willing to believe it, but I honestly, having seen a bit of this, I question it quite a bit. The article effectively ends with February 27. The day they say Kate woke up coincides with Constantine of Greece, and that he wanted to get back to her side as soon as possible because to make sure she corroborates his story, that it was an incident and probably participated in all that in a photo shoot as soon as possible in something that could sweep this whole incident under the rug. But the article ends like that. The question remains if Kate joins or if this leads to them splitting up well, there we are left a little bit. Let's see what I say. To me, this sounds a bit like a British tabloid that says it has sources and tells stories. But it is true that if Prince William has a history of violence since he was a child, it does not mean that it could have been reproduced as an adult. In fact, the only testimony we have is what Harry tells us in his book. I am not going to excuse it, because it is something that has been commented on since minute one. Something happened during the Christmas holidays that Kate suddenly clicked. Here, let's not say it encompasses everything. It doesn't refer more to physical blows, because then she puts the parallelism with the fights. With the fights she had with her brother, it would be very serious. It would be very serious. All this, in any case, when I say it more Kingston, some media tried too. British media took out articles saying what would happen. Hey, what if a prince commits a crime? How would he be tried and everything, and all that stuff? 
many of us took it as but well they are pointing him out as a suspect in the death of this one and it could refer to something else it seems the marriage was not well it's all been told already addictions infidelities and kate being princess all the time and william is the heir apparent he knows that he is going to count on the crown but even so today there are also other articles that report a kind of war of succession in the making that the brothers of the king of king charles are out there that could well accessing the disinterestedness expressed by william and kate sounds to me like a bit of a s m i l l a roll i don't know s m i l l a in tentacles but that would be something to analyze in another video it's a very serious theory i personally believe that nobody in kate middleton's family except perhaps the uncle could have 